What is up guys? Tis I, Sparrow. And today we're going to talk about Quality of Code Episode 1, Review slash First Impression. As always with First Impressions, we like to talk about the opening and the ending. I don't believe we got an opening in this one, but the ending with Claris was pretty good. It was really good. I'm hoping that's the opening and not the ending. That's what I'm hoping. But I'm not too sure. Um, the music in the anime, the EDM dubs, I think, was, I thought that was amazing. I thought that was amazing, 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 amazing. I liked that. I liked that. I thought that was good, and I liked it. Furthermore, let's get into the actual anime. So, it appears as though another almost post-apocalyptic world that they live in, where in which... Mankind got destroyed or the world got destroyed by some unknown creatures and now they're fighting back Okay, have we seen this before? Yes Yes, we have but everyone does it a little differently everyone does it a little differently and here's to hoping that this one isn't cliche and Does it the same way as some other ones already right off the bat the main character Ichia his ability his world, they call these, I guess, the equipment that they use to, to fight these unknown creatures, they call them world. And they have, like, some barcodes or some, like, barcode thing on their, on their back of their neck or something like that that I'm assuming gives them the ability to use whatever abilities that they have. Split off into three cities um, using swords, guns, and magic. Ichia, one of the main guys, and Kana, his childhood friend, sister, uh, I'm not too sure, childhood friend maybe, is are the two representatives of their city, and they're using magic. Kana seems to be a uh, like a buff person, like she's just support because all she she had a a, a a microphone and a stand, which was her ability, and she started to sing. And it looks like she, like, buffed everyone or, like, healed them or something. I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what she was doing, but that's what it looked like she was doing. I don't think she actually fights or she can fight. It'd be interesting to see that, but I don't think she does. And Ichia, don't get me wrong, his ability is badass. The gravity, flying, just throwing those little disc ball of darkness, amazing. His pride, though, I feel as though was probably going to happen because he's one of those characters where in which he doesn't like teamwork. He doesn't, he thinks he's all they need. As a matter of fact, he says that several times in the anime. Uh, it's probably going to get to the point where he's going to need teamwork. We know that's going to happen. Or he's going to get his ass kicked and he's going to need help. We know that's going to happen. Okay, let's, let's, let's just get that out the way. We know that's going to happen. Because it always does. Anyway, Hime, which is also one of the representatives of like the sword, that's one of the sword wielders, she's pretty badass. She is really badass. And to elaborate on that, um, there's this ranking system and each is number four. So there's three people ahead of him. And I wouldn't be surprised that Hime chick is one of those three. Now, who are the other two? I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm assuming she's one of those three. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming, given her destructive power, what she did, she has to be up there. She has to. She absolutely has to. They have a ranking system. Each is number uh, four. Um, and they didn't show who was above him, but we're probably eventually going to see some really, really powerful people. Granted... The, the representatives of each city were uh, powerful in their own right. The chick with dual wielding those two pistols was fucking badass. Go with the flow chick, all nonchalant. She was fucking badass. Like, my favorite one out of the entire episode was hers. She was fucking badass. Um, but overall, it seems as though these students are waging war against these unknown creatures and... We we don't even know what they are. We don't know where they came from, and we we just don't know. We just don't know. So, 
Also, I do want to point out, Ichia and Kana have those little barcode things on the back of their necks. I didn't see anybody else touch theirs to use their ability. And the people from their school, I don't know if they have to as well. I'm not... Which, does it amplify your power? Do you have to have that in order to use, like, your world a bit? I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure. They call their little, like, ability things worlds. And that's... I don't know. But... I'm probably going to review this weekly just to see where it goes. I'm I'm hoping it gets better and not worse. Not that it's bad now, but a lot of times with animes like this, it just gets worse. And I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping the story is pretty good. The action, the animation was already solid. That that already has drew, has drew me in to, to watch this anime. But I'm hoping the story, which is very important, is at least interesting. At least is what I'm hoping. But let me know what you guys think. Did this anime first episode pull you in? Did it not pull you in? What do you think? Uh, is that with the ranking system? Because we were told that they get they have like exceptions and they get perks or something. I also want to know what ranking Kana is because she's a representative. So. She has to be up there. Well, the guy with the sniper in the in the gun city, he's two oh seven. So I, I, I take that. I take back my statement. He's two oh seven, but he didn't seem that bad. Maybe he's dropping in rank because he doesn't care. Well, we know he doesn't care, so maybe that's why he's up there. Ichia actually cares. So, but like I said, let me know what you guys think. Um, is it good? Was it not good? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you going to watch it again? Maybe to see if it gets better if you didn't like it? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's it for me. Overall, it's pretty solid. It was uh, pretty solid. A lot of questions, but I have a good idea that the majority of them will get answered. But, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is it for me. Later, people.